Okay, this is finding the rate or time in a word problem on continuous exponential growth and decay. So that is again the same formula as this. It says suppose that the number of bacteria in a certain population increases according to an exponential growth model. Uh, a sample of 1600 bacteria selected from this population reached the size of 1655 bacteria in one and a half hours. So T is 1.5. Um, the original amount was 1600. The amount after that amount of time was 1655. It says find the hourly growth rate. Okay. Now because it increases and it's talking about growth rate, we know that the rate should be positive. So let's plug in all the values that we have and then let's find that percentage rounded to the nearest hundredth. So I don't know why I put PP is 1600. So first thing I'm going to do is divide by 1600. 1655 divided by 1600. I'm just going to put the fraction version, which is 331320. I got this weird decimal when I divided them, so I went ahead and converted it to a fraction. And then over here on this side, you're going to get e to the 1.5 r. In order for me to get that power down, I'm going to have to take the ln of both sides. And then this exponent is going to come down. Remember that the ln of e is 1. If you don't remember, it's okay. Just divide by 1.5 and ln of e. And do the same on both sides. Um, and then when you type this in there, you're going to type ln of 311. Oh, I'm sorry. I wrote that wrong. 331. 331 over 320 and then at the bottom you have 1.5 ln of e again my calculator doesn't let me just type in e so i always have to put an exponent and if i just want e you just use the exponent one and so i get 0 0.0225315 I like to write the whole thing because I need to convert it first to a decimal, I mean to a percent. So 2.2531586 percent. And then you need to round that percentage um, to the nearest hundred. So tenths, hundredths, this is not going to change that. So it becomes 2.25 percent. And that is the final answer. Now I do have another example. So it says here, actually two more. It says the mass of a radioactive substance follows a continuous exponential decay model. So this time the R should be negative with a decay rate of 7.5%. So that means it's going to be negative um, 0 0.075. And it says find the half-life of this substance. Half-life means when your amount afterward is half of what you started with. That's what half-life means, okay? Um, so I don't know what P is, but when I plug it into this formula, I know that the if I'm looking for half-life, I know that the amount afterward has to be half of that P value. I know that the rate is point negative zero, zero 0.075. I don't know what T is. But when I divide both sides by P, notice it's going to cancel from both sides. So you just get this expression, and then you take the ln of both sides. Then the exponent comes to the front, and then you divide both sides by negative 0.075 ln of E so that you can get the T all by itself and you can type that in your calculator. So ln of 0 0.5 over negative 0.075 ln of 
E. And I get 9.24. It does want me to round it to the nearest hundredth, so it is exactly 9.24. Now, the last example says, suppose that 3,000 is invested in at an annual, an interest rate of 3.75% investment be doubled. So now what that means is that the amount afterward would be twice the amount that you put in. But I do know what the p-value is because it says that I put I invested this amount at the beginning. So that's actually going to be 2 times 3,000, which is equivalent to 6,000. So if I take my formula and I plug in the 6,000 for A, which is double the amount that was put in, p, and here I'm going to use my rate, 0.0375 um, and you are talking about money growing or doubling so it is going to be a positive rate if I divide by the 3000 on both sides I get 0 0.5 and then if I do the LN on both sides Um, the exponent will come down and then divide by the 0 0.0375 and the ln of e. So it goes away. And so you type that in your calculator and you get t equals, this is round to the nearest thousandth on this one. So ln of point or 0 0.5 over 0 0.0375 ln of E. Oops, I put in an extra number in there for some reason. There we go. Um, hmm. Oh, it's because I'm dumb. 6,000 divided by 3,000 is not 0 0.5. It's 2. So I should have used my calculator instead of trying to do that in my head. It wasn't half, it's two. So this should be two. My bad. Okay, so, and I'll just verify, 6,000 divided by 3,000 is two, right? It should be, okay? So then now we're gonna do, let me go back up to that fraction I typed in there. And let me just change this to a two. So ln of 2 over 0 0.0375 ln of e. And now I get 18.484 because I wanted me to round to the nearest thousandth. And so this is the answer for the amount of time. Time is in years, so it'll be that many amount of years in order for this investment to double.